Welcome back, everybody, to Factorio. My name is Tom, and this is episode number three. In today's episode, we are going to be playing science and automation. This will be the fourth tutorial in Factorio. So with that said, guys, let's get started with today's episode. Sector scan complete. The radar has detected a distress beacon, but the signal is extremely weak. Hmm. Based on the attenuation of the signal, the source must be over 200 kilometers away. Looks like the signal strength is dropping. Going on foot would take far too long. If I want to track the source, I'll need a faster method of transportation. Ooh, that sounds like fun. First, I should reach something research something to help protect myself from the enemies oh okay yeah we could do that craft a build lab craft and build a lab okay no problem let's craft wow what a messy factory this is i mean look at all the natives wow okay yeah a lot of dead natives <laughs> so i am going to craft a science lab and it looks like i need some iron plates do we have some iron plates yes we do but it is outputting it over here okay how many we got in there 337 nice All right, and I'm going to grab that, place that down there. And why not? Let's just place it way out here in the boonies. The labs will consume science packs and use them to research selected technology. Ooh, okay. Awesome. Technologies need a certain number of science pack to be completed. So using more labs will speed up your research as long as you feed them with science packs. Okay, fair enough. Use labs to research stone wall. Open the technology screen using the T key. Okay, guys. Wow, we are looking at the technology tree for the very first time and took a look at all of these research. These look pretty cool. So we need to research stone wall, which will protect my factory against the natives. Okay, so I'm gonna hit that. And this takes time needed to research one unit in the lab. Um, does it take 10 signs? 10 of these red flask? I'm not sure how to read this properly. Hmm, okay. We'll start that up. Okay, now what, guys? Now what? Looks like we have some tips over here. Welcome to the tips and tricks. It will... Explain game concepts in a visual and interactive form. Ooh, I like that. Tips are unlocked as you progress the game and also by completing the tips. If you want to see them all from the start, use the console command unlock tips. Okay, excellent. So clear cursor with the Q. Yep, we understand this. Use Q to place the selected entity in your cursor. Stack transfers. One stack, all types of stack. Shift click, control plus click, control plus click on empty slots. Okay. 
We'll be going through these quite a bit. Oh, interesting. Control plus left click on an entity to take items from it. Control plus left click while holding an item to put it into the selected entity. Yes, we were doing this yesterday. The tutorial teaches you different ways of transferring items to and from entities without opening them. So control left click on an entity, take item from it. Okay, and then control left click while holding an item to put it. Okay, yep, got it. And take a look at this. The burner miners are directly feeding coal into each other. And we know this is coal because he'll drop some items in here and then we'll tooltip will appear coal up here. All right. So it looks like these are feeding each other coal back and forth, which is pretty nice. Or you can stick it in a box and then you could drag and drop into the stone furnaces. Okay. Wow. These tutorials are really cool, guys. I give Factorio 100 out of 100 for a visual tutorial. This is what I'm looking for. Very nice. Well done. Okay. So press Z to drop single items from your cursor. Oh, okay. That's really nice. Press Z to drop single items from your cursor. You can drop to the ground, onto the belts, and into entities. Hold Z and drag the cursor across multiple entities to quickly drop single items on each other. Wow, that's super cool. Okay, and build by dragging. Okay. Very nice. Fast belt bending. Whoa, that was quick. Press R while dragging a conveyor belt, or Factorio would call them transport belt, allows you to make seamless bends quickly. So press R while dragging. Okay, we're going to try this all. What's this? Building over an entity of the same type and size will perform fast replace. Fast replacing will preserve properties of the original entity, such as inventory, contents, and selected recipe. Okay. Interesting, kind of confusing. Hmm. You can use fast replace to quickly change the direction of entities. Okay, guys, man, we're going to be trying some of this stuff. As we want to be an efficient engineer. So use labs to research stone wall, open technology tree, screen using T. Okay, T. We have the stone wall queued up here. What do I need? Guys, what do I need? What's this? Modules? Wait, is this kind of like speed, efficiency, productivity, and different levels? This seems like fact or this seems like satisfactory modules, like overclocking. And this would be equivalent to proliferator prolifer and Dyson Sphere program. Okay, so all three of them kind of have the same thing, but the methods of how they do it's a bit different. Okay, but um, how do okay? Let me press T, and I need ten of these red flask. Okay, so how do I make those? How do I make those guys? Um, I'm going to press E. And I'm going to craft up a couple of these assembly machines. And I'm going to click and drag some of this stuff down into my hotbar.
Okay. So if I drag one of these out here and let's chop down some trees. Okay. And what do we have here? Production, logistics, intermediate products, and combat. So maybe under the intermediate products. And automation science pack. Is that what it's called? Automation automation science pack? Interesting name. Copper cables. Automation science pack. <laughs> That's a surprising name for a science pack. Okay, so we have... Okay, so we need copper plates and iron gear gear wheel. Okay, so if I hit shift, I, can I not duplicate this by holding shift? How about control drag? Hmm. So I cannot do that. Okay, um, if I drag another one down here. I forgot what the tutorial was. I am, I'm going to go over here because I want to learn some of these mechanics. So I'm going to take my time to do this stuff. Building over... An entity of the same type and size will perform fast replace. Fast replace will preserve properties of the original entity, such as inventory contents and selected recipes. This is slightly confusing, but I'm going to try this. So if I grab... It's, yeah, it's not shift... Do I need to build another one? Huh, it's not working. I don't get it, guys. Build by dragging. This is what I don't get. Build by dragging. Press R while dragging an entity. So maybe I need to press R. That's the conveyor belt. Yeah, I don't get that at all. I don't get it. I tried dragging that over. But that's not working. So I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. Maybe one of you guys can help explain it. But for now, I'll just click and select the recipes I need. Okay. <clears throat> so I need some copper ingots, which are being produced over here. So I am going to bring those over. Okay, and then I need some gears, right guys? I need some gears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the copper ingots on one side and the gears on the other side. Oh, 
Okay, and then I can do this. And I could do this. And that should work. Oh no, they're putting on the same side. Don't want that to happen. <laughs> um, yikes, how am I going to get this over there? What if I come down like this? So I'll come down like this and then I'll go from this side. Okay, there we go. So now we have two of the components to automate the science. And if I hit F, I can pick up off the belt. Okay, so then we can bring this over. Like that. And then we just do one in, two in, three in. So three inserters. And then we'll come out like this. I'll do one inserter out, two and three in inserters out. And then we'll place a power pole here and here. Here and here. And then we'll connect this like that. I'm going to, I barely noticed this machine gun here. I'm going to pick this up here and we're going to move it further down here. Just because we are, oh, engineers. Hmm, something must be causing the natives to attack the factory. Maybe they don't like the pollution. Oh. Guys, do they react to pollution? Do they react to pollution? This is not good. This is not good. Um, let's hit M. And we can see we have all these biters over here. Oh, it looks like we have some coming up here. Oh, there they are, but we have some machine guns. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Okay, yeah, we're definitely running out. And it looks like they were storing ammunition here. Okay. Oh, we're having a power issue here. So some things need to be repaired. So I am going to go here. And then go in like this. And then, yeah, we're good. So that's fixed. Oh, this is an interesting way of setting up power. How's our, how's our power looking? Uh, 100% satisfaction. So we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, let's continue this. Uh, and then from here, we can store our science in some boxes. And we'll do some iron chest. We'll place an iron chest there. And we'll place this here. And then all we need to do is route in the components, some copper plates and gears. And we should be automating some science, guys. Guys, wow, I am automating science for the first time. And it's all being stored up here. Beautiful. Okay. Great. And so the next step is to 
automate that. We got some belts here. We got some plates. Looks like we don't have enough. So I'm going to build a couple more here. So I'll rotate this. Just so that we can feed those stone furnaces. Okay, well, there we go. So we're feeding these stone furnaces. Those are looking really good. Excellent. And we can actually delete that extra. And why not? Let's just place this in here. Okay, good. And I still don't think it's enough. We can actually probably place another one right here. It looks like one was damaged. So we'll place another another there. And hopefully that's going to be enough to feed all these. Yep. Okay, it's reaching the last burner here. So that's good. And how much science do we have? We got 24, so I am going to connect the power here. I'm going to grab that science in here. And I should probably build a few of these so that the research goes a bit quicker. Oh yeah, now we're getting all of that iron ore in. Very nice. Lab is in the way, okay. Okay, one there. And that's all we got, okay. And then I'm going to grab the science. I'm going to place it over here. And then I'm going to hold Z. Oops. And do this based off of the tutorial. Okay. And there we are, guys. We are doing some research. We are researching stone walls. And it looks like we need some lights. So we're going to craft some of those. I need some copper ingots over here. All right, stone wall is complete. Ah, uh, yes. Great. I can now build a wall to keep the enemies out. But then I could focus more on on more important matters. Okay. I need to scale up my production and research more advanced materials. All right. Um then I should be able to build a car. Cool, guys. We're going to build a car. Use labs to research Automobilism. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. What do we need for that? All right, here. So we need some green science. Okay. What are the prerequisites? Okay, so we need the engine. Logistics 2. Logistics science pack. Okay, so we need to get some steel processing. So I'm going to unlock that. And unlock this. Wait, you can, can you not queue things up here? Guys, you can't queue anything? Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll just queue up steel processing. And we'll get that going. Okay, science is being stored up here. And then we need to figure out how to automate some green science. Some green science. We should probably automate some ammo to protect our factory. We looks like we have some stone brick in here, so I'm going to grab those. Maybe that's part of what goes into building some stone walls. Can I build stone walls?
Ah, uh, yes, I can. So, guys, we should probably automate some stone walls. Because I feel like we're going to need quite a bit of these. The biters just won't give up. Maybe I should go kill them at the source. That would stop them for good. Ah, uh, yes, like we did in the last episode. How does this work? Oh, nice. Oh, we can put a double wall in here. Wow, I used those up pretty quickly. <laughs> Holy moly, that's expensive. Okay, well, maybe we should just put an end to the biters. Guys. Okay. Well, guys, it's 30 minutes here. So I'm going to be switching to 30 minute episodes here instead of doing an hour. That's typically the standard here. So I'll gonna end it here and then we'll pick up in part two for this tutorial. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me in episode number three. We're currently automating some science and production and then we'll come back and hopefully finish up this episode with that said you guys have a wonderful day there and we'll see you in the next episode take care bye